What if an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond? Where did 3i Atlas come from? This question has set the scientific community abuzz ever since its discovery on July 1, 2025. As the third mysterious interstellar object to enter our solar system, 3i Atlas stands out with traits and behaviors unlike anything we've ever observed before. Cracking its secrets has become a top priority, as it could hold the key to unlocking some of the deepest mysteries of the universe. Early discoveries have left space fans amazed. When astronomers traced its path backward, they found it came from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, near the Milky Way's galactic center one of the oldest and densest regions of our galaxy. Even earlier, unrecognized observations supported this idea. Data from several telescopes, including the Atlas Survey and the Zwicky Transient Facility, showed 3i Atlas on a sharply hyperbolic orbit from that very region, confirming it originated from interstellar space near Sagittarius, rather than within our solar system. Its motion adds another twist. Unlike most stars, including our Sun, which orbit in the thin, flat disk of the galaxy, 3i Atlas moves in a tilted orbit resembling stars of the thick disk. This thick disk is home to much older stars, which generally contain fewer heavy elements compared to younger thin disk stars. Based on its speed and orbit, scientists estimate 3i Atlas to be extremely ancient between 7.6 and 14 billion years old, placing it firmly within this older stellar population near Sagittarius. The story takes an even more intriguing turn as some people link 3i Atlas's origin to one of the most mysterious radio signals ever detected, the famous WOW signal. Back in 1977, the Big Ear Radio Telescope in Ohio picked up a powerful radio burst that lasted just over a minute it was so unexpected that the astronomer who spotted it scribbled, wow, on the data sheet, and the name stuck. What made it even more fascinating was that the signal seemed to come from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius. To this day, no one knows for sure what caused it. Some believed it could have been a message from extraterrestrials. It was strong, very narrow in frequency, and never repeated just the kind of characteristics one might expect from an intelligent transmission. Others argue it may have been a rare natural event, like a sudden burst of hydrogen gas energized by a magnetar, a highly magnetic neutron star. Now, with 3i Atlas traced back to nearly the same region in Sagittarius, the mystery deepens. While there's no evidence linking the two, the coincidence sparks fresh curiosity. Could both the WOW signal and 3i Atlas be clues to something larger waiting to be discovered beyond our world? Adding yet another layer of mystery, a recent article titled The Racing Speed of 3i Atlas features Harvard expert Avi Loeb, who has introduced fresh and intriguing hypotheses about the object's origin, once again sparking public fascination and debate before entering our solar system, 3i Atlas was racing through space at nearly 60 kilometers per second, around 600 times faster than the world's quickest race car. This incredible speed hinted at its origin in the thick disk of ancient stars within the Milky Way. Like most stars, though, 3i Atlas likely began its journey in giant molecular clouds inside the thin disk, a cooler, flatter region of gas circling the galaxy's center. Over billions of years, the gravitational tugs from other galaxies, spiral arms, and star clusters disrupted the orbits of stars like its parent star, gradually pushing them out of the thin disk and into the thick disk. This region is puffier, more extended, and home to much older stars. Based on this, scientists believe 3i Atlas's parent star was part of the thick disk and could be anywhere between 7 and 14 billion years old. But what truly gave 3i Atlas its extreme speed wasn't just this inherited motion. It was likely a dramatic ejection event. Powerful gravitational forces, perhaps from a massive planet or a nearby star, 
slingshotted it out of its original system, and set it on its interstellar journey. In summary, 3i Atlas formed in the thin disk, drifted into the thick disk alongside its ancient parent star, and was eventually launched into deep space at remarkable speeds, allowing it to arrive in our solar system today as a rare interstellar visitor. To back up this idea, Avi Loeb pointed to a paper he published in 2024, where he outlined a process that could naturally generate launch speeds of up to 60 kilometers per second at the birthplaces of interstellar objects. He suggested that three I Atlas's parent stars may have been dwarf stars, extremely common stars that are only about one-tenth of the size and mass of our sun. Despite being smaller, these stars are far denser around 100 times denser than the sun. Density means how much stuff is packed into a certain space. The sun's density is about 1.4 grams per cubic centimeter, which is close to the density of some solid rocks. Albert Einstein taught us that gravity comes from how mass bends space and time. When a solid object, like a planet, gets close to a very dense star, the star's gravity can pull so strongly that it can rip the planet apart into a stream or string of matter. This is called spaghettification, because the planet is stretched out like spaghetti. Our sun isn't dense enough to pull a planet apart like this. If Earth got close to the sun, it would likely just be burned up by the sun's heat, not torn apart by gravity. But a dwarf star with its very high density can actually rip a planet apart. When this happens, half of the planet's broken pieces can be thrown outward into space at very high speeds, around 60 kilometers per second. That's incredibly fast, faster than the fastest car on Earth. This further supports 3i Atlas, as high speed might come from being launched this way, shredded and flung away from a dwarf star at very high speed as pieces of matter from a destroyed planet. This discovery was a eureka moment for scientists because it showed that such a high speed can naturally happen near the most common stars in our galaxy. Even though 3i Atlas is racing through space at incredible speed, it poses no danger to Earth. The closest it will ever get is about 1.8 astronomical units, or roughly 270 million kilometers, 170 million miles, well beyond the orbits of both the Moon and Mars. Still, Avi Loeb has classified 3i Atlas as a level 4 object on the Loeb scale, the same rank given to Oumuamua. Level 4 means this object is very unusual and might even be artificial, so it deserves careful study. Loeb compares it to crossing a street and spotting a race car, with a 40% chance of being a serious threat. You definitely keep your eyes on it. For context, a level 10 rating would indicate a confirmed technological object that poses a direct threat to Earth. 3i Atlas earns its level 4 status because of its highly unusual speed, odd reflectivity, and chemical composition, all of which don't fully align with what we'd expect from a natural comet. Unlike the other two known interstellar objects, Oumuamua and Borisov, 3i Atlas is not only moving very fast, but it's also moving backward compared to the usual direction that planets and objects orbit the Sun. What's strange is that its direction lines up closely with the flat path, called the ecliptic plane, where most planets orbit. This is very unusual. It has only a 1 in 500 chance of happening if the object came from a random direction in space. There are even more peculiar things about 3i Atlas. Hubble space. Telescope images reveal it glowing toward the sun instead of sporting the usual tail trailing behind, like a typical comet. This suggests it isn't shedding much dust at all. Normally, sunlight pushes dust particles outward, forming the familiar comet tail. But the absence of a substantial tail means 3i Atlas is releasing very little dust. Loeb has even suggested a bold possibility. The steady, headlight-like glow could be radiation leaking directly from its core. If 3i Atlas were a nuclear-powered spacecraft, the heat from its reactor might be burning through its shell, releasing dust, while occasional thrust bursts push material forward. 
Indeed, scientists studying its light found it has much less of certain carbon molecules that are common in comets. These carbon molecules, like cyanide and other hydrocarbons, are usually common in comets but are strongly depleted in 3I Atlas. However, it is very rich in simple carbon-containing gases like carbon dioxide. Much less of certain carbon molecules means that most of the reddish light we see from 3I Atlas comes from its solid surface. Based on how bright it is when measured by space telescopes, 3I Atlas could be as big as 46 kilometers, about 28 miles, across, which is much bigger and heavier than Oumuamua and Borisov. The size and mass originally suggested for 3I Atlas are far too large to match what we'd expect from ordinary space rocks, based on survey data from the Atlas telescope. Current detection rates show that objects as massive as these are extremely rare. In fact, the numbers line up much better with a nucleus size of around 2 kilometers, or smaller, rather than 46 kilometers. Updated measurements from Hubble and other telescopes now place the nucleus between about 0.3 kilometers and 5.6 kilometers in size, with the upper limits confirmed by both direct observations and brightness-based estimates. Adding to the list of anomalies, spectroscopy from the Webb telescope revealed that 3I Atlas is venting a plume made up mostly of carbon dioxide, about 95% by mass, compared to just 5% water vapor. This makes it one of the most carbon dioxide rich comets ever observed. Such unusual chemistry points to a few possibilities. 3I Atlas may have formed in a region of its original star system especially rich in carbon dioxide ice, perhaps near the so-called carbon dioxide frost line, the distance where carbon dioxide can freeze. Another explanation is that it was exposed to intense radiation that altered its composition over time, or that it developed a thick outer crust, hiding water ice beneath the surface, which would suppress the amount of water vapor escaping. The unusually high amount of carbon dioxide compared to water suggests that 3I Atlas has undergone heating and processing very differently from most comets in our solar system. Adding to the surprise, scientists have found that 3I Atlas is releasing large amounts of nickel gas, but almost no iron gas in its coma. That's highly unusual, since comets in our solar system typically release nickel and iron together in nearly equal proportions when heated. The Very Large Telescope in Chile first detected the nickel gas, and follow-up observations show it is increasing rapidly as 3I Atlas gets closer to the Sun, while iron gas remains completely absent. Scientists think the nickel might be coming from complex chemical processes involving nickel-containing compounds, possibly nickel carbonyls nickel, combined with carbon monoxide, released due to sunlight and space weathering. This nickel release pattern is not common in natural comets and is more associated with industrial production processes on Earth, making the observation mysterious.